Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. To those of you who are new here, my name is Anmol. I'm a doctor based in India. And on this channel, I talk about all the things relevant to being a doctor and a dermatologist in India that I learned along the way. Today, I'm very excited to share with you a much awaited list of all the articles that are important for your MD dermatology exams. I also talk about why they are important, how to access them and how exactly to go about reading them. So stay tuned. Firstly, let's talk a little about the importance of reading these articles. Up until now, through NEET UG, NEBS and NEET PG, textbooks were your primary reading source, your primary study source. Once you join residency, that changes. Articles published in various dermatology journals also become a very important additional resource for studying. Why? A, because they contain all the updated and recent information on various topics. B, they are easy to access on your phone or your tab so you can quickly review a topic in your spare time. And thirdly, because not all the important information is mentioned comprehensively in textbooks. You're going to realize that there are a lot of long answer and short answer questions that are not given in the textbooks. Where do you read those from? From these articles. So for topics that aren't mentioned as elaborately in textbooks as you would like, uh, articles and journals are a great source for studying those topics. So today I will be sharing with you a list of all the important articles that I found during my residency uh, that I thought were extremely important from your exams point of view. I have compiled them together in the form of a document. They are high yield and informative, well written and are extremely important for, from your MD exams point of view. Some of these articles are straight out long answer questions or short answer questions that are asked in your uh, MD exams. Most of these topics are not covered in detail in textbooks and that's where these articles come to our rescue. You can get this list of important articles by clicking on the link that I've mentioned in the description. Once you have downloaded the list, all you have to do is go online, type the name along with the journal and you can access the articles. You can download the PDFs. I also want to talk a little bit about how to go about reading them. The best time to read these articles is when you're at work and have some time to spare or study. Just read one article a week, that's a good enough target. Now remember, the important thing is that when you're reading these articles, don't just read them like you're reading a novel or a newspaper. Don't just casually go through them. Each article is an exam question. So make sure that you're either underlining or making notes while reading them so that close to your exams, you don't have to read the entire article again. You can just read your notes or the underlined part. You can either take a printout of all the articles and underline them as you read, or you can download the PDF version and highlight them in your tab or your laptop and save it that way. Or you can make notes as you go. So read them in either of these three ways, whichever you're more comfortable with. I hope you found this helpful and I'm sure this list of articles will help you a lot. If you like my content, please support me by liking this video, sharing it with your friends and subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.